Hi everybody, Chad here. Thanks for joining me. This is one of my instruction videos and today we're going to be discussing the gradient instruction. The gradient instruction controls the amount of pump A and pump B in terms of ratios uh, that you're getting as you go through your chromatography run. It will allow you to create gradients that are used in like affinity or um, ion exchange elutions, and we have two basic types of elution, which is either your classic linear or a step gradient. You can't do nonlinear gradients with Unicorn, unfortunately. Okay, let's go into Unicorn. The gradient instruction is available both in the manual mode and in the method editor. So it's really intuitive as well in order to use it. Um, you can just go into manual and execute manual instructions and then it's under the pumps and pressures radio button and then gradient. So before I click it, let me just tell you what our current setup is. We are running a small one mil ion exchange column and it's running at two mils a minute. So here we are at two mils a minute and the column is currently in position one going down. So I am going to do a gradient to 100%, and I'm going to do it, let's just say, for 2.5 minutes. And execute. The thing to remember is that even though the gradient, you can start to see it going up there right there, that's the amount of pump A and pump B you have. So let me switch this over to concentration of B. So there's zero to 100%. And right now, we are at 14% B. So the reason we don't see the conductivity going up just yet is because the pumps have to work through both the pumps themselves and the mixer and then get through the column. So I think this is the mixer's 1.4 mils. I don't know exactly what the holdup volume of both pumps is. And then one mil for the column, plus all the holdup volume for the valves. So we'll just give it a minute and we'll watch the gradient go up. Okay, now you can see that we're operating only off of pump B, right? And the gradient has gone from zero to 100% B. The next thing to do is to try a step gradient. And we're gonna do a step gradient going down and not up. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go back to manual and execute. And let's do three steps. So in order to do a step gradient, you just have a length of zero. So I'm gonna do zero. And so the first step will be to 66% B. All right, so that's how the gradient instruction works in the manual mode. I'm just going to let this ride for a few minutes. All right, everyone. Now uh, let's look at how to use the gradient instruction in the method editor. And it's really the basically the same thing. But the problem is, is that you have to be careful about how you like juggle and manage the breakpoints. So first, let's talk about the setup. I still have a one mil column set in this method. It's a high trap Q column. And in the method settings, I have all the default method settings. I changed the flow rate to two CBs. And you can see right here, I've got minutes at the bottom, but I'm gonna change that to CBs. Okay, hopefully it stays CBs. So now I'm gonna close the method settings. And as we play around with these, I want you to watch the gradient 
window down here to kind of see what happens. All right, so we'll start by just doing a basic um, linear gradient. And so I'm going to go to pumps and pressures, gradient, and we'll do 100% B for five CVs. Okay, and I'm gonna hit insert here in a second, but notice that this end block is set to zero and I'm not changing it, like here, right? I'm not doing anything physically to change it. Oops, removed, I hit change and I insert. So there we go. Insert gradient 100% B for five CVs and the software automatically changed the total amount of CVs for the breakpoint to five. But if I change this to three, change it'll also change it to three but here's where it gets goofy if I do this to zero now change it leaves the end point at three so you just have to be aware to like come back and check these things so now let's say I want to do um, just the same linear gradient that we showed before where I have a plateau at the top so that means I have five CVs change and then so now that's eight and so you can see a plateau at the top and if I had another um, phase after this I could just put in um, you know like a re-equilibration step or something like that so why don't I just do that really fast View, phase library user define So now I'm just gonna make this like, I don't know, five CVs or something. So we have a total, bam. Now we even have a re-equilibration. Oh, I didn't put down a 0% for the gradient. So I need to set it back down, right? So I'm gonna put that in here. Gradient is gonna be 0% B, insert. All right, so there, I've got the classic linear gradient goes down right there let's see if I can get it so there that's where it goes from 100% B um, but let's say I want to do a gradient that's slightly more complicated how would I do that and I also want to introduce variables so I could do this where let's say I want to make this my variable so change all right but now what I'm gonna do is I am going to add another gradient instruction gradient and it's gonna be wait, first of all this one is gonna be 50% B right change to 5 CVs and then now the new gradient instruction is going to be to 100% B and the length is going to be zero CVs. The thing is, is what I want to do is I want to have the mid plateau, like middle plateau, the transition plateau, I want that to be 2.5 CVs. So now you think that if I put 2.5 right here, nope, not 25, 2.5, right? And then I hit insert that I would get what I'm looking for but I don't instead I get to hundred percent B right here at 2.5 CVs and the reason is is because this is supposed to go to 5 CVs and instead the next breakpoint is right at 2.5 CVs so what I have to do is have this breakpoint right here jive with this breakpoint right here so really this breakpoint needs to be 7.5 CVs Okay, so now I have that like kind of mid plateau thing there, but I only want this plateau here to be 2.5 CVs. So I don't want it to be 13, so I have to cut that down and I'm gonna say this, this is 10 CVs. Change. So there you have it. The sort of lower gradient with a step at the end. Okay, I hope this helps with your purifications. Thanks for watching.